So if it gets too hot, you always move it away from the flame. Sorry, I'm trying to record one-handed. By the door is probably be the close the closest spot. Uh oh, ripped a hole in the bottom. All right, that's the final product. We used store-bought marinara because I wasn't expecting to make pizza today. All right, this is gonna be my first impression pseudo review of the Bighorn propane oven. I'm not a professional YouTuber, so bear with me. I don't have any aspiration to be one, but I just haven't seen anybody really review this oven or anything. The features, we got the dual burners, one for the side, one for underneath the pizza stone. Uh, I've only used it the one time. I used the bottom one to heat up the pizza stone and then I turned it off when I was ready to cook. I didn't think it was necessary once the stone was warm. The door has a couple holes in there. If you're cooking, you can kind of see your pizza a little bit, but would be nice if they were a little bit lower. Temperature gauge has Celsius and Fahrenheit. It warms up very quickly. I think it maybe took 10 minutes to get up to temperature last night when I made my son's pizzas. They said the stone is 13 by 13 inches. They gave me a little tool for getting the stone out. I haven't I was able to successfully do it one time and I didn't measure it when I did that. Let's talk about the pros and the cons. To me, this one, get out of the way as a pro, uh, the aesthetic. I like the shape, I like the look. I just think it looks cool. Um, doesn't really affect anything, but, but I like the look. Uh, pro number two was the price I paid. $259 for this and I think I paid $15 for a three-year warranty it was on eBay pro number three I might have mentioned already uh, it heats up fairly quickly I've had it on for probably three minutes now and we are at close to 700 650 whatever is I like that it has two burners I think being able to heat up the stone really quick is nice and being able to turn that off and just keep the other one going is nice. Cook time. Cook time was really easy. I'll probably throw some b-roll in of the pizza I cooked my son last night. But yeah, pretty easy. Even though I don't have the measurements for the door and the stone, it's a pretty big size. I mean, you can't make a 16 inch pizza in there. Like I said, if your pizza's 13, or if your stone's 13 inches, you can make a 12 inch pizza real easily. And the door's pretty big, so you can slide in a pizza peel in there pretty easily. Speaking of pizza peels, it comes with this nice little foldable pizza peel. It can fit right in there. Um, I didn't use it. I have a wood pizza peel that I love that I used. Uh, it's a little bigger and it fit in there no problem. So I was happy with that. Uh, my son is a toddler and he loves making pizza with me. And so when he's a little older, he'll probably use this one because it's a little, it's pretty light, uh, but it seems, seems sturdy enough. It's, like I said, it's foldable. So let's talk about the cons. The cons are those holes in the door, which I might have mentioned before, they can't let you really see the pizza too well, but that's okay. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Um, one of the bigger cons is the burner is so close to the bottom that your crumbs are going to get in there. Uh, so be careful how you're scraping it, how you're cleaning it. Um, I cooked a pre-made uh, store-bought calzone in there the other day or at least tried to didn't quite work it stuck to the whole bottom you can see my bottom's really messed up after just one day um and i wasn't careful how i scraped those and crumbs are going to get in there so cleaning that can be a probably be a bit annoying but eh, it's it is what it is if you care about these kind of things it has some dings and dents that were just there when i got it right out of the box 
Uh, not a big deal to me, but if that's an issue to you, it might be something to think about. Another kind of downside was the door. I'm not sure if it was operator error or the metal warping. Last night it was pretty cold out and it was a little bit rainy. I was undercover, but the rain was hitting us a little bit. Not too bad. But I just have st struggling to get the door off and on. And this morning seems to not be a problem. Another con is that it's propane, which, you know, I bought it knowing it was propane. You don't get that smoky wood flavor with the propane, but that's okay. Um, I bought this. I have another, I have a, I have a kettle barbecue or a, what's it called? Kettle pizza for my kettle grill. And I use that for the wood, but I bought this for when I need to do like 10 pizzas in a row or more than that. I don't have to sit there and manage all the wood uh, or in, in that kind of thing. I can just heat it up with the propane, get cooking, get it heats up real quick. Um, and then also like we had two dough balls left over and my son, when it got here, I had no intention of using it, but my son wanted me to make those two dough balls. So I was able to heat this up real quick, cook off two, turn it off. So that that's nice. Uh, so it's a pro con. It's that it's propane. It, if you're not looking for propane, then I wouldn't be looking at a propane oven. I guess is what I'm saying. My father-in-law had a great idea, which is it's pretty big in there. We're thinking get a metal uh, bowl of some sort with some sort of like grated surface, and we can put some pellets in it put it in that back corner, get those uh, pellets smoking, and then you could still get that smoky flavor. I'm not suggesting anybody do that. I'm gonna personally give it a try, but uh, I wouldn't suggest anyone do that because I don't wanna see anyone, I don't know, get hurt or anything like that. Another con is the stainless steel. Um, it looks nice at first glance, no big deal, but you know, you're not going to keep your heat as well as you would in like an uni or a rock box. But this is a lot cheaper than those, which is fine. It's hot to the touch, so don't let kids touch it. Yep. I mean, it's only been on now for 14 minutes about. And it's hot there. Of course, that's where the flame is. We're at 700 on the inner thermometer. How about the other side where the flame isn't? obviously a lot cooler and they have the don't touch over on this side probably should put it on the other side but whatever so overall that's just my quick thoughts um i really like it i'm excited i got it uh right now the person i bought it from on ebay like i said i spent 259 dollars and currently they're selling it on ebay for 2690 dollars uh I don't know if they understand supply and demand or what their deal is, but uh, if you pay that much, you're insane. I don't care if it's... Oh, there's that door problem. There we go. If you pay that much, you're insane. I don't care if I like it. If it's not worth that, if you're going to pay that much, get it. Uh, I don't know how to say it. The, the Z... Zero Kiro? Zero Kiro? Um, Italian ones, big dome ovens, you can get the little dome oven from them. But overall, big horn propane oven, I like it for what it is, for the price I paid. I think it's fantastic. I'm happy that I'm going to be able to use it um, when I don't want to bother setting up the wood. And with the kettle pizza, I got the charcoal. So when I want to bother with the charcoal and the wood, and I just want to turn it on, make a pizza, or I want to make a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of pizzas all, pizzas all in a row. I'm really happy with this product. Um, I've had it for less than 24 hours now, so I might have buyer's remorse later, but for right now, I give it a thumbs up. I'm real happy if you pay more than 259. I don't know that I'd be happy. Um, if I'm gonna start paying into the 300s, 
I might as well save up a little more and get a uh, get an uni. Uh, what is it? Get an uni code of twelve, um, or save up even more. And right now it's Black Friday. Spend the four seventy five or whatever it is and get the uni code of sixteen. But for what this is, I really like it. <laughs>